हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ जितेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू जितेश टैग गुरु तो दिस इज द पार्ट फोर ऑफ द सीरीज हाउ टू क्रिएट स्प्रिंग बूट रेस्ट एप्लीकेशन ओके तो इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट इंसर्ट अपडेट डिलीट विद डेटा बेस एंट्री आई विल क्रिएट रेस्ट इंड पॉइंट सो दैट वी कैन शो यू इन डेटा बेस इट इज इंसर्टेड और नॉट एंड ऑल्सो आई विल शो यू insert update delete as well as put operation okay let's start as per my last video as per the last series i told you how to create a maven application so we will create a maven application from the spring initializer we will open spring initializer okay in the spring initializer this is spring dot io if you open star dot spring dot io it will open spring initializer in the spring initializer select maven java spring boot 3.1.4 group name i have given com dot jitesh tag guru artifact i created a school project description it is not required even you can put also jar java version 17 and dependencies just remember dependencies last time we only add web but now this time we will add two more dependencies this current is web next one is jpa 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 and next one is h2 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 database h2 database once we will add these dependency uh, we will click generate we will click generate once we click the generate automatically zip file will download school dot zip school dot zip will download even i already did it so i will show you how it is appearing in the download section school dot zip school dot zip this is already downloaded so this which one is latest i will pick that one also don't worry just now this is downloaded so right click and unzip right click and unzip school extract to school once you extract it i will show you what's come inside new things in the pom.xml in the pom.xml if you open if you open pom.xml it will add dependencies it will add dependencies which dependencies it is add, added this is web dependency this is h2 dependency and this is jpa dependency so three dependencies it is adding okay so once it is added we will import i told you in the previous videos how to import the project into eclipse same way i did it same way i did it okay so i imported and this is my imported project i imported but it is not show you all files file will show only this file will show currently we need to add another files so for your understanding purpose because within a single video it's very large so i already coded and i will explain every every class so first of all we will create a entity class we will create a entity class this is the entity class where we create a employee class object and three variables for example id name and role okay so this is the employee class and i created id name and role the three member variable id is long name is string role is string i created getter setter parameterized constructor and also equals hash code and two string okay this is the auto generated code let's i will show you 
if you remove all these things if you remove all these things okay right click right click in the ide source generate getters and setters select all generated okay right click source generate to string okay generated it is generated okay right click source generate hash code and equals hash code and equals it will generate okay right click source generate constructor using fields i put only two name two variable don't include id okay it generated so same class it is generated after that on the id on the above of the id i click at the rate id id is which type jakarta dot persistent dot id this is the id we are importing and then generated value jakarta dot persistent dot generated value this is added if you remove at the rate id control space once you did control space it will come persistence id we need at the rate generated generated value we need this one also okay so this way we are creating classes this is called persistence class this is called entity class at the rate entity entity means it will save into database as a row in particular employee table okay next is i will i created database load class database before the database we will create a repository class repository so this is the employee repository extends jpo repos repository jpo repo repository holds jpo repo repository have some default methods have some default default methods which save save all delete basically insert update delete functionality implemented with it here jpo repository under jpo repository so by default employee type and primary key long should be given in here uh, we will give here so it will work as a repository ser repository service okay after that we will create load database so load this is the command line runner first of all we will create a configuration class where load database is a class which is type of the configuration at the rate configuration it will define uh, spring says this is the configuration class what type configuration we are doing we are doing some internal configuration what type configuration we are initiating database which type database Im we are initiating database by employee repository once employee repository is initiated it will load this repository dot save repository dot save new employee ditesh and teacher shonam and principal so basically we are inserting record into a database this is the in memory database this is the h2 database property this is the in memory database okay so make sure this is in memory database at the command line runner says once program is executed once your school application is started the command line runner also executed this is the functionality of command line runner okay so once our application is started database initiated in the database repository will save this functionality is doing by here okay again we are calling 
employee controller this is the controller class this is the rest controller class this is the rest controller class at the rate rest controller means we are defining end point here so we as i shown you know in the last video uh, we with the get mapping in the get mapping we pass url so here we are passing url it is saying localhost 8080 colon employees it will load find all the employees and return the list of the employee in the json format by default format is json in spring application in spring restful web application okay so this is the list of employee return in json format okay but before that we are injecting repository which type of repository we are injecting employee controller repository we are injecting this is the initiate initiate in within the repository okay so same way we are at the rate post mapping we are adding new employee within the new employee we are passing the request body employee new employee okay we are passing new employee object here how we are passing we will show you later just just stay with me we will show you every single thing here okay the same way get mapping employees if we pass ide if we pass id this is the syntax we are passing runtime value this id will hold into this id long so uh, with the path variable this is the path variable card path variable hold this value and repository dot find by id this is the repository inbuilt methods find by id if i pass id it will give me result otherwise it will throw employee not found exception okay we are including here global exception also i will show you i will show you at the rate controller advice way okay same way we are hitting put method put method means that replace employee replace employee means we are updating the employee okay we are updating the employee here employee repository find by id map employee dot set name first of all it is find employee and then we are setting updating the role and name and then again it is saving to the repository and okay or else get employee dot set id here we are setting the id only okay employee dot save this id will update here also okay employee dot say it is returning it is returning new employee what save object return what save object return save object return a type of t any type of this is the this is the type which type this type is this type is employee this is type is employee return it, okay again delete repository we are pa passing path variable id and repository dot delete by id it is returning nothing okay so let's test this application one another thing we are using the exception handling here so we will show you exception handling we have created one class employee not found advice type class we will create and this is the card at the rate controller advice advice class this is advice once a response body it will return the response body which type response body it will return a string type response body it will return which type exception will it will handle the employee not found exception it will handle okay what will response status response status is not found not found means not found means client error 404 404 404 it is the client error and it is showing not found okay it is showing not found exception so not found exception we have created one 
class extends runtime exception in the uh, in the parameterized constructor super we are adding could not find employee whatever the id so this is the message is written by the advice okay this is the message written by the advice okay so this is time to test this application first of all we need to execute this application okay so we are executing this application run as java application okay so now my application is running so my, my application is running here running successfully you can say started application once it is application is started we will test one by one url okay so this is the my rest client here we are testing one by one so local host first of all we see local host only let's see what happened it's saying method not available here not found yeah it is showing or not for not found because this url this url is not configured in any controller any rest controller what we configure we are configure employees we are configure employees you can see now here in the employee controller this is the get mapping this is the employees we are configured okay so we are testing here let's see if we are sending what will come it is showing internal server error what happened let's see why 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 no default constructor entity of the employee oh ho employee constructor we are not created okay so let's construct a default constructor you can create here also source 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 generate constructor I select all generate now default constructor is created now let's see what happened we need to stop one and start application okay now see the logs see the logs it started servlet engine in slicing root uh, again processing okay no load time we were set up ignoring jpa class transformer initializing jpa entity factory okay preloading employees employee are preloading which employee my name is jitesh and role is teacher next one is sonam this is principal okay so employee are loaded let's see now it is working or not it should return it should return some data yeah now it is returning this type data okay so now we are testing next one is let's test second id value it will it will fetch or not second id value fetch or not send only second value it is return, returning okay so now we are adding new empl new employee new employee means this is the url and what kind of input we need this is the body click the body and add values if it is not added this value we are adding this way okay and here json format and name and role i put names on the role is dean let's see send now this employee is added let's check all the employees are added or not let's put get i hit it i hit and i seen there is a now three employees are present in my db in my in memory db that is s2 db and what we need to put let's test the put put method which type method put three we need to put three and in the body ra json as previous is sundar now i will add here as a 
someone name what my name sundar pichai okay let's send now it is added id is 3 it is updated or not let's check let's check i get 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 third employee oh, you get only third employee now it is returning updated name okay so now we can test the delete operation we can test the delete operation just at delete which employee you want to delete i want to delete second employee let's test it will delete or not it will delete it is 200 this is 200 now employee is deleted let's fetch all the employees get after get two okay so now only first and th third first and third okay let's fetch the second employee what will present what will present it will return could not find employee two could not find found employee two okay so now only one scenario is pending which one is exception handling exception when it is throwing exception when it is throwing find by id if id is not present then it will throw employee not found exception okay find by id which type get mapping under get mapping let's could not find 44 yeah could not found employee could not found employee where it is coming here could not found could not found employee and id is 44 so we are able to see how to create a restful end points with help of the controller and also we see exception handling with the control advice with the control advice and also we see the configuration class at the right configuration class and also we see at the time of the startup which type functionality we needed we can put into the command line runner so i hope in this video you learn a lot of things please comment it out if you have any confusion now in the next video i will show you how to the add this code into github repository so that we will add more functionality more thing within one code base this is a school project so in the school project you will see all things all things means all things i will add the jpa and everything everything i will add but slowly slowly okay stay tuned with us if you like it please like share and subscribe thank you for watching bye bye